Well, uh, we started uh, about uh, 10 years ago uh, from here. This is uh, original um, gallery space and then we moved to different space. Over 10 years we moved uh, five times and we did uh, uh, different projects uh, under the uh, name of Luda. Uh, festivals, etc. But originally it was established as a research center for uh, local culture, I would say. And it was my um, main interest. Uh, when I am saying local culture, uh, local um, culture of St. Petersburg, uh, and it, it's always quite difficult to uh, to find out what's happening here, because structure of a culture here is still um, structure of independent culture, more or less uh, uh, secret, still, and there is no source or something uh, where you can get uh, in, uh, information about it. So, and I was trying to find out uh, uh, what was happening, and uh, I was trying to make a. S s uh, structure which uh, can help us to understand the system of uh, independent culture here. First we did uh, 52 exhibitions a year so and then we did a big festival uh, at the uh, uh, loft project at Ajri uh, which uh, uh, where I put uh, all projects together so it was uh, like a final big project and then we did a festival at uh, New Holland so, and uh, after that, Luda um, <clears throat> moved a few times and finally we got a space for three years near here, next door. Uh, and uh, we decided uh, uh, on that uh, uh, stage of development of Luda, uh, doing, uh, did uh, research on um, local cultures in different countries and in, in, in former Soviet Union and abroad. So we are researching small art societies everywhere. Uh, so, uh, and last three years we've been doing uh, research on uh, independent culture in uh, absolutely different regions. For instance, Uzbekistan, Belarus, France, uh, no Norway, everywhere. So we believe there there are a lot of artists who uh, belong to small art circles. So we are not talking about uh, um, big artists which you can see in Hermitage or mm -hmm. a, a Russian State Museum or anywhere. We are talking about small groups of um, independent uh, uh, um, artists who more or less belong to same circle. Uh, and it's kind of hard for them to uh, um, to, to to find the right right place to to show their work. So, and sometimes we were helping to um, make a, a, an issue. Let's uh, let's say we invited artists from Dagestan, and they became a group after exhibition in Luda. So. Uh, uh, therefore, our role as a cultural center or cultural um, structure more than the gallery, we are kind of um, hard to say, mm -hmm. uh, uh, place, I would say. So now you're moving to the next place. Do you think you will also change your concept or will you keep it or is it all open still? Well, it's all open, but I guess uh, normally we. Uh, using um, space as a uh, point of uh, inspiration. So sp space giving us uh, uh, mm, an idea of uh, uh, future projects. And I believe new space, which we will get, mm, will be totally different. Uh, so, and I guess we will have a new program there, more mm -hmm. based on archives and uh, 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 history of um, contemporary art. 
I see, but then you will need more people working for this gallery because archival work uh, takes a lot of uh, contribution from from many people, in my experience. Yes and no, because it's easy for us to reach some interesting, very interesting archives uh, here. And uh, basically, um, uh, we have a possibility to already, we did a big research on different archives. So, um, and I think it will be okay in because there are a lot of students and uh, you know researchers helping us for free. So, mm -hmm. uh, and because we are researching mostly independent culture, it's all working uh, together well. Okay, so good prospects, and I'll keep my fingers crossed for you and for your new space. And I hope we meet again. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Peter Bill. Uh, I would like to introduce Lisa Matreva. She is one of the curators of this space, which will soon move to another place. Lisa, how many years uh, was this gallery open in the uh, center? In this particular space, it was open for almost three years, from 2014. Uh, before, the gallery was uh, in the other space, next door space, in the same uh, courtyard, for one year. Um, and. Uh, I didn't work in the first uh, project, I uh, was involved only in the second one. Um, and the first gallery was much more, um, uh, much more interested in the local art, so Peter Belli, who is the founder of the gallery, he showed all kinds of local artists and local art groups. And when we opened the second space, we decided to show more art from other countries or other regions of Russia, art which you can't, which you couldn't already uh, see in other spaces uh, in Saint Petersburg. How would you, what would you say was characteristic about this gallery? What makes it different from other art spaces in the city of Saint uh, Petersburg? I think it's one of the. Um, most independent spaces in the city. Uh, one of a few uh, spaces which uh, uh, was open for three years. It's a long uh, period for local art scene in St. Petersburg. Um, also, as I said, we were focused on art from other places, not from St. Petersburg, and maybe this is our main, uh, like main thing. Now go. So uh, we showed art from Estonia, from Perm, from Dagestan, from uh, from Finland, and this art wasn't established. It was underground, uh, like independent uh, art, um, very um, sometimes very uh, controversial. Uh, so we were we were not that interested in showing something well-known, so mm -hmm. uh, maybe this is the main thing. Yeah. So when you say controversial, are you going to continue in this uh, direction <laughs> with your next space? Uh, I think in a way, yeah, we will continue because um, Luda or other projects we did together with Peter at our other spaces were quite different from the things which happen in St. Petersburg if we talk about commercial galleries or museums. Um, our projects are always uh, done from the position of artists, because Peter is an artist, first of all. Uh, and he, uh, he always invites his friends and he, he works on the same level with them, so there is no uh, authority. Mm -hmm. So he, of course, he, he curates, mm -hmm. I, I help him, and uh, we do lots of, lots of stuff together. But I think um, it's a very interesting position when an artist is, or is at the same time a curator, because he can see uh, things from different perspectives. And your contacts are international? 
as you said. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In you... this space, it was international, and I think we will continue because now we have a network with mm -hmm. uh, different spaces like this, or with artists, or with creators. And I think we will work with them in the future with other projects, or if we open a new space, we will work in such, in such direction. Okay, and uh, the last exhibition just closed. What was it about? Uh, it was dedicated to the anniversary of the revolution of the 1917. But we talked um, not about the October revolution, we talked about the February revolution, which is not that well known. And people don't really uh, so celebrate called bourgeois it. Revolution. Yeah, yeah. I see. Uh, and about the phenomenon of democracy. So um, the project was done by the Moscow curators and artists. And they uh, also uh, invited local artists and they asked them to talk about democracy, what they think democracy is. So it's also quite an uh, actual uh, project. Mm -hmm. Any ideas for your next project already, or is it...? Uh, I think we will do a combination of a historical um, uh, research and uh, a, sh a combination between historical part and contemporary part. So uh, I hope we will um, make a show, a uh, big show, as big as we made uh, several years ago, which was called Signal Show. Uh, we made it at the um, former engineering bureau, and I hope it will be as big as uh, the signal mm -hmm. was. Uh, but we want to um, to build a historical con uh, context in this show, and also uh, to show um, actual artists and how this context uh, influenced on them. So this means that you are already looking for a new space or you have a prospect of getting a new one, you already know what and where to do. Yeah, well, we have some uh, connections and uh, now we are in process uh, of uh, negotiation. <laughs> um, and uh, if, if it works, the space will be very uh, important historically uh, for St. Petersburg and uh, it's a former constructivism uh, building, house of culture, very like very famous, very important. So if it works, uh, then it will be very, very cool, I think. Yeah. Okay, so I wish you the best of luck and I hope to see you there, maybe for the opening or any of the other yeah. uh, events, any of the other shows. And, yeah, and thank, thank you very you. much, Lisa. Thank, thank you. you.